Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Wanna highlight something that I find very interesting and a game from my childhood. Now to be fair, my memory of this game is a little bit foggy because I played it maybe like 20 years ago, but it is now listed on Steam. Guns the Duel is going to be coming soon on Steam. I know if you're around my age, you know, in your late 20s, this is a game a lot of you guys heard about, and when the Steam listing was found, it absolutely exploded. The community hub for this page just exploded with a lot of people talking about it, and again, I don't think this game is going to reignite uh, a new uh, second wave for the game or something like that, but I did want to talk about it. It's pretty interesting because, again, the game came out like 20 years ago, uh, you know, 18 to 20 years ago, somewhere around there, but now... It is looking to come to Steam, so we'll talk about that. Speaking of Steam, I want to highlight a couple of recent Steam releases that might be worth adding to your wishlist. We'll get to that at the end of this video, but yes, Alternative Action Guns the Duel Online is listed to be coming soon on Steam. Now, it does note uh, this product does not have support for your local language. English language not supported. Hopefully, they do remedy that situation. Like, language support isn't completely necessary for this game, but uh, it would be nice, obviously, to make our way through the menus and things like this. Uh, this was a, I don't want to say a wildly popular online game, but one that I played back in the day. I remember always going to my cousin's place, and he had a laptop that had Guns the Duel uh, installed onto it. I didn't really PC game at that point, so I would just go to his house and play Guns the Duel. I remember, like, skipping school back in the day, so I could just go to his house, and he lived, like, a couple blocks away from me, and I would just walk to his house, pop open his laptop, and start playing Guns the Duel, and it... Definitely, from my recollection, the game was fairly janky, but it comes from a different era of gaming where I thought the game had a lot of heart and soul to it. Maybe that's nostalgia speaking for me, but uh, the game, again, is listed as coming soon. Alternative action shooter Guns Online, although it may look similar, Guns Online has elements that completely dis uh, distinguish it from other FPS games. Well, the game's a third-person shooter, so... You know, I don't know about that. Shooting in action, Guns is more about the feeling of acting than shooting. Various actions are possible, reminiscent of console games and movies. This includes many actions such as dashing, jumping on walls, tumbling, hanging on walls, multi-step wall jumping, and combos using blades and firearms. I remember the traversal and maneuvering around the map was one of the coolest elements of the game, so... You know, that'll be interesting to see how people take to that. Three dimensions experience, new strategic gameplay. Each battle takes place not only on ground, but also on walls and pillars. Use different actions to stand on, run around, or even swiftly jump over them. Characters play with various characters. Guns does not end with the provided characters. Equip yourself with various outfits and items to suit your taste and make your personality pop. As you change and equip items, your character's appearance will change accordingly. I'm pretty sure this was a game that back in the day did have microtransactions. I mean, it was a free game from what I recall. It wasn't like a pay-to-play game. It was a free-to-play even when it initially dropped, and it had microtransaction elements. Uh, play with various characters. Guns does not end with the provided characters. Equip yourself with various outfits, like I said. Uh, weapons and items in addition to outfits and accessories. You can also selectively use weapons with different patterns, just like your outfit. Guns is noted to be an action RPG that goes beyond the limited elements of simple leveling and introduces various and fun role-play elements to the game, such as cooperative quests and uh, where you hunt uh, down huge and powerful bosses with your chosen teammates. The game... Yeah, drop back in like 2005. It's just one that I know when I bring it up that there's going to be an audience that's like, oh my god, I remember this game, Guns of Duel. And by the way, there was a Guns 2, the second duel that dropped on Steam. And I have played this before, like way, 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 way back. Um, but... A lot of the Steam reception for this game, like, if you go to the reviews, it's a lot of people just wanting Bring Guns 1 back, and guess what? Guns 1 is coming back, hopefully, with English support, and I don't know, like, I wouldn't imagine the Guns 2 community is really cooking right now, so it is what it is, but Guns the Duel says it's coming soon. Uh, we'll see if it actually comes to fruition, but man, just seeing this game on Steam, a little bit trippy to me, and uh, definitely a little bit nostalgic. Like, the visual, you look at this game from a visual standpoint, it ain't gonna be anything that blows you away. Like, this looks like a mid-level PS2 game at best, if you want to say it's that good of a visual game. Definitely better than PS1 era, but uh, yeah, it's not going to blow you away graphically, but I remember just gameplay-wise, 
it was a lot of fun, and the traversal again, and the gunplay, I remember having a great time with it, but again, I was very young, I was new to even playing any games on PC outside of back in the day, like you're talking me playing browser games while I was supposed to be doing schoolwork uh, on the school computer and finding websites that, you know, the uh, network didn't block or whatever on uh, in the, you know, the school uh, back in uh, middle school and high school and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But nevertheless, Guns the Duel... Coming soon to Steam, as at least that's what it's listed. All right, moving on from that, I do want to highlight a couple of games that have dropped on Steam recently. These are officially out, and you can add them to your library, or you can add them to your wish list, which in the case of both of them is what I would recommend. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, the Patrick Star game. Has a positive reception right now. 27 reviews, 92% positive. I think the inherent problem with this game is $40. It's seeing comparisons to Goat Simulator. But we've also... Th th there's a lot of notes that it's got three to four hours of content. $40 for a three to four hour game. Like, if it was $19.99, I think you could get by with the IP. But, uh, yeah, $39.99, probably a little bit too expensive. But if you want a sandbox, you know, do whatever the hell you want kind of game. With Patrick Starr, an incredibly iconic character, you know, might be something worthwhile to check out. At a sale. Probably wouldn't be spending $40 on it, but at a sale, something to look at there. Lastly, a Sword Art Online Fractured Daydream is available right now as well. An online action RPG in the Sword Art Online universe. Look, I meme on Sword Art a lot. I did watch Season 1, and I watched some of Season 2. And I do think there are high points to Sword Art, but it's kind of cringe most of the times. However, I have said, I played the Gun Gale online game, and I thought that game was actually pretty good. Fatal Bullet. This game is being received fairly well. Came out a couple of days ago. There was an early access period, but right now, 727 reviews, 81% positive. Now, it is a game that's $60, and there's a premium edition that's $100, and there's in-game purchases available. It's a live service game uh, published by Bandai Namco, so take that for what you will. You unlock characters from the Sword Art universe and then you go online cooperative action rpg um might be something i check out down the line i just think the price point is a little bit high and then on top of that you're talking about a lot of other big games coming out i don't know if sword art online fractured daydream is going to be one that a lot of people gravitate towards however for a game of this scale and this size having 8,000 concurrent players. Last I checked before this was like 11,000 concurrent players. Again, that's not a huge number in the sense that uh, in comparison to let's say what Sparking Zero is going to have, or even what Metaphor is going to have. But for a Sword Art Online for actually Daydream, that's actually a fairly decent number uh, to have right now. Like, let's go on Steam DB and look up, like, some of the other Sword Art Online games. Like, they have not peaked at incredibly high uh, concurrent, uh, concurrent player counts in the past. Like, let's go to Alicization. Uh, that peaked at 8,500. And this one is already peaking at well over that. Uh, again, 8,800 right now. But if you look at all-time concurrent player count, it peaked at 12,290. And maybe it'll continue to go up. So doing fairly well as far as that's concerned. I will note that over at Green Man Gaming, they do have a discounted 8% off for $55 if you do want to pick it up. Um, I had a couple buddies check it out in the beta period, and they actually were pretty glowing about the game in the sense that they had their expectations in check as far as what to expect out of a game like this, but... I digress. That's going to do it for me. Again, mainly want to talk about Guns the Duel because that was such a random listing on Steam, but it is noted to be coming soon. Guns the Duel is back, and it's going to be on Steam. A SpongeBob SquarePants, the Patrick Star game available now, and Sword Art Online Fractured Daydream available now. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.